I need to talk about the 48 pre-patterns of life activation in Satania because what is this? It hasn't quite been explained. Um, this is mentioned in the Rancho book where the author discusses life series and the descending orders of life activation. And so it's a tertiary structure upon which this life is forged, but there are three components essentially of central universe life seven series of mortal vessels so those are the the seven forms of creature sentience the melchizedek vorandetic lanan endek okay ascending suns are the fifth order of that and we're the seventh order but we have all seven experiences together, okay? Because that represents the completion of time for every soul in this part of the universe. It's not DNA. 48 is not the number, it's not a code for the chromosomes that contain the library for how proteins are enabled. I mean, a lot of people think that, but this is what I think is, you can read also that a thought adjuster, which is the, the custodian of the experiences and time of a mortal soul, have pre-experience in pre-eternity with other adjusted individuals who teach how to actually activate the patterns and the forms of material existence when they find themselves in this realm and having such an individual, they would need to know the, the structure of materiality in order to know how to enter into it and to know how to bring a soul out of materiality. And so, Personality is a partial construct. When we die, usually the soul returns to the Holy Spirit. That's the way it's been, okay? We don't really know how a capitulated consciousness that's fused with God consciousness really makes it to heaven. And to try to explain that would make it difficult for another sentient being to have ascended through the same pathway since that is an individual. To me, the 48 patterns of life activation are a mental buchido, okay? That is a little drop of the will of the universe that pours into actions like this, okay? There, there are mind modalities, 48 mind modalities that are Bushido's and we can combine one act with the next, okay? That's right, we're coming into an era with virtual reality where the purpose of the game itself is to help the individual activate the 48 pre-patterns of personality that pre-exist within this universe. It's the, it's the, the base and 48 
separate patterns that move within every being that are the same, but the personality pieces them together like Legos, okay? Combines one with the other and blends them so you can learn to have, you know, up to six of the Satania patterns active at one time in certain behaviors. The 48 patterns become like an orchestra that have to ferment and congeal, okay? And create true personality identity, which is the using and blending of these patterns with the material activity in time in such a way that transcends them, okay? There are life series, okay? And the number of patterns available within those from the mind perspective of personality is crucial, okay? Any realm that you go to after this, it is essentially working within a range of possibilities, okay? The mind and the personality of, of your consciousness, it experiences the quality of time. But when you're existing and competing in a material universe among creatures that are much like yourself, it's the activity and the number of types of behaviors that enhance the goal of the activity while you do it. The more this could be expressed, actually people who collect the data will be able to identify the similar modalities, okay? It's, it's not a cultural thing unless you see it is the culture of the life system and it's, it's, it's a culture of how we actually interact, not how we would choose to interact, but what we're forced to deal with when we act, okay? Is that a material thing when the mind decides to act? Or is it your personality activating 48 pre-patterns for the personality to be able to act, okay? When the will of the universe in the Father's hour comes, this is the first source pouring its will through the center of ourselves in a way that helps us to stand, in a way that helps us to rise up. Now, why is that? Because our minds are amenable to the receptivity, okay? And when the will is poured into these channels, they don't act on a material level. They activate the 48 pre-patterns of personality, okay, that temporally, we as temporal beings that are seeking to finish individual experiences to complete them. It's not, it's not a material thing. It's the will poured through pre-personality patterns of the mind in the system, okay? How could that exist? What does that mean? That's not important. The important thing is that culturally, our history, our time, we are going to discover these pre-patterns in the record of the mass amount of data that comes from playing a PlayStation 5 video game online and knowing that about the user, okay? When we start to piece it together, we'll see these like little puzzle pieces and we will see how children and adults are, are, are becoming more and more expressive of the pre-personality patterns of Satania. And then we'll come into the ethical dilemma. We, we're all going to face it. It's the, 
it's not material versus spiritual. It's the demand that a technocratic state puts on each of us based on holding us ransom to time with its knowledge of our experiences. But ideally, the cosmological pattern of our actions, they require that we learn how to activate the pre-patterns of personality in Satania the same way that we have to learn how to walk or ride a bicycle, okay? That is going to be good to express, but then having that knowledge creates existential dangers for the maturation and development. Uh, but also, there becomes dependency on a virtual avatar environment in order to express these pre-patterns of personality. And this, it's only can lead to the partial identity of a personality within that person, okay? After these 48 pre-patterns have been activated, I'm not saying scientifically discovered, but ex exercised by a person, and they learn how to use it, they learn how to work within that arena, then, okay, they're going to have to use that to make choices to do more important things and we could be creating like a, a, a third level of hell limbo uh, with the data by binding a personality identity to the fourth industrial estate to a technocratic individual okay when ultimately at the end, all mortal souls would hope for such a record to be expunged so that greater experiences could be gained in the next chapter of the universe, okay? This is a lot to get into, okay? We're going to take baby steps to understand it together, okay? I'm not putting charges on anyone, but once this is discovered, okay, that's the beginning of where computer programmers have to take responsibility for their actions, okay? If they're given an order to use this information in a certain way, they have to be sure that it's the right thing to do in order to create that because they are creating such a system where people are playing games in order to learn how to activate the 48 pre-patterns of personality that exist within our life system, okay? That culturally could become a norm. It could become one of the more ways of a generation. But will they know nature, okay? What is the cost of these things? Will they become trapped in like a labyrinth that's a Cartesian three-dimensional grid of their own minds, okay? They need to be able to have the universe touch their hearts and to reach out through their hearts, okay? And to have all of the sounds and visuals of an orchestra without the smells, without the pain of the knees, Okay, you, you are going to have the partial ability of personality expression, okay? And we need to find the balance. We need to find how that is to be used in order to help that personality realize its true work in the world and to be able to grasp the responsible goals that they would choose, okay, to help them to do that. It's, we're coming into some real existential crisis that are not based on food shortage or economics, is based on temporal dynamics.
okay, and the goals of the programs and how the goals have to change once we establish this information as being factual, okay, and observable scientifically. Think about it.